goodness. All right. So question <laughs> exactly. of the week. Question of the week here. Uh, it was a long question that came in via email that had multi different parts, oh but I'm going to take just one piece okay, out of good. it because I think just the one piece is something worth talking about. So uh, the person's asking about applying for cards and which card they should apply for. And so they, they brought up the IHG premier credit card with the current bonus, which they said, and I believe was correct, is 140,000 points with the $89 annual fee. They were wondering if they should get that card. And they said, I must mention that I got the IHG Premier card in 2018. I earned the 100,000 bonus in January of 2019 and canceled in October of 2019. If I'm reading the terms and conditions correctly, I should qualify for the 140,000 point bonus on the IHG Premier if I'm approved, right? And I'm going to answer that one before we go to the next part. Yes, because they last earned the bonus more than two years ago. So they would qualify for the bonus again. So definitely, yes, you could. Here's the question that I thought was interesting, but the trick question, Will I not put myself on Chase's radar and have them cancel all of my credit cards if I uh, essentially, if I apply for the premiere again, like just over two years after getting the bonus last time, am I going to put myself on Chase's radar? Are they going to cancel all my credit cards? I'm not an MS type, but usually I stop spending on a new credit card after earning the bonus. Mm -hmm. Are they going to get themselves on Chase's naughty list and get all of their credit cards canceled by applying for that IHG premiere card again? So I'm going to answer this in two parts. So first answer that directly, I'm going to say probably not, because what we, what we know or suspect, uh, strongly suspect of what puts people on Chase's sort of naughty list has more to do with, are you a credit risk? Um, you know, different factors that would indicate that they might lose money on you because you uh, run up bills and not, not pay them off and, and uh, skip down, basically. Um, but, but we don't know for sure that um, that's the only thing that'll get you on the naughty list. And we, and we don't know for sure that anything they've been doing in the past will necessarily, you know, could change in the future. So that gets me to part number two, which is my sort of philosophy of uh, dealing with chase cards is that I think, I think your uh, a strategy with chase ought to be around um, one, dealing with the five to f- 524 rule, which is that you can only have, they won't let you get approved for a new card if you've uh, signed up for five or more cards in the past 24 months. These are five cards for many issuers, not just Chase. Um, dealing with that, but also figuring out which Chase cards you want to have and to hold long-term and making sure you get those. And so like, <sighs> If, if the IHG card was important to you, I would have said, don't cancel it, you know, in the first place. Now that's already done. So, so, but, you know, now, now we're at a net, another stage where it's like, should I sign up for it again? Well, uh, yeah, it, I would say, look at all, look at Chase's portfolio and say, which ones do you want um, for long-term? Go for those first. And if IHG is one of them, if you're like, oh, I, I actually do want it, yeah, and get it. And probably just this one doing that one like that isn't going to be an issue. But I don't think of Chase anymore as a viable issuer to be like canceling and re-signing up every couple of years with a lot of different cards. Now, some people might, you know, I think there's a case to be made with the uh, Southwest Companion Pass to, to juggle uh, every other year with, with, a, uh, with your partner, like who signs up and to try to keep in in uh, companion pass land, but um, that's that's my kind of approach to Chase overall. Interesting. That is not what I expected to hear you say. Really? Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I what I expected to hear you say is they created the speed limit. They created the rule. They said you can't earn the bonus more than once every twenty four months. I don't think that earning the bonus again more than twenty four months later is going to cause you a problem with Chase at all. I mean, I granted. Well, like Greg said, it could. I don't know. I mean, it's not impossible that things could change tomorrow, but I don't think that that is particularly risky behavior. No, I, and I wasn't. I, w- I guess I wasn't imp- meaning to imply that it was. What what I, what, what, I, what I'm meaning to pl- say is that I don't think that's the best way of approaching Chase credit Chase cards. cards in general. Because okay, you're, you're, this sort of serial canceling and signing up, um, you're going to be using you're using another 524 spot every time. And you're going to end up That's getting true. into a case, unless you just rarely ever do this, in which case you're fine. Uh, mm-hmm. 
you're going to get in a situation where you're going to want a chase card. You're not going to be able to get it. But you can't get. Yeah. Right. Right. And, and the IHG premier card to me is not worth two 524 slots. So, right. you know, or I guess right. it's not really going to be two because it'll be more than two years. But at any rate, yeah, I, I would, I would have a hard time believing it's worth one of them. Uh, Cause I think you're right. There's probably a better strategy. My thought actually though, in reading this was that, okay, so this reader was afraid that chase is going to close down all their credit cards for getting the bonus a second time. They're not, not a manufactured spender. Mm -hmm. They were worried they were going to get closed down just for opening the card again. And right. I thought to myself, man, and Chase owes a debt of thanks to Amex because <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. that fear was something that didn't exist two or three years ago or four years ago. Like the, the, I don't think this question would have come in before Amex started up with their pop-ups and no soup for you and you can't get it again and shutting people down that, you know, MS too much or clawing back points and statement credits and things like that. Cause like we haven't heard much of that from Chase. No, Obviously, no, but, but some, when, when they do but shut people much. down, it, it, it is sometimes, it does seem to be triggered by them opening new cards. It's like that gets, that gets Chase looking nice. at your account and then they say, oh, your history with us looks like risky behavior. I mean, we're, we're sort of assuming what's happening behind the scenes. That, that yes. looks like risky right. behavior and so we're going to actually shut you down. And so, so I think that might be where the fear comes from is, is uh, some of that experience with chase shutdowns, but, yeah. but those are for people that are doing like cycling their limits over and over. Um, they're, they're doing a lot of behaviors most often that um, you're probably not doing <laughs> in this case. Right. This, now, if this you're asking that question, you're right. You're probably not doing, if you're asking it that way, anyway, you're probably not doing the other things. Exactly. Like, uh, Greg's written like a couple of years ago, Greg wrote a post that's still relevant today. Why chase shutdowns have increased and how to avoid them. And, and the main thing that you're, and you're kind of insinuating this here is the bust out risk. If they think that you're going to run right. up all your bills and then, you know, skip town to live on a beach somewhere in some secluded Island, uh, then, then they might shut you down, but that's probably not the impression they're going to get when you open your new IHG. Right, cards, you're probably safe. right. right. <laughs> probably safe. All right. So that brings us, I think, to the end uh, this week. So I want to thank everybody who's out there listening. We enjoy having you guys here. If you enjoy what you've been hearing about and you want to read these posts in your email every day, you want to get on our uh, email list, you want to join our Facebook group, follow us on Twitter and all the social media stuff. You want to go to frequentmiler.com slash subscribe. Again, that's frequentmiler.com slash subscribe. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe, ding the notification bell. If you're listening to this in podcast format, leave us a review, give us a thumbs up, a like, five star, whatever it is that you feel like we deserve. Thank you very much. Wait, 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 wait a minute on oh, that last part. Okay, well, back not, up. not what we deserve, but, but, you <laughs> no. know, give us, give us a good review. Right. Give us a good review. We appreciate it. <laughs> You're getting your money's worth here, guys. All right. <laughs> that's now that's true. <laughs> Rate us based right. on how much you right. paid. <laughs> there you go. Thank you guys very right. much. We'll, we'll be with you again next Bye, week. Bye everybody.